day, beautiful people, greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it is extremely misty and busy and, you know, all kinds of things going on. And But we say, yeah, God, we praise you, we thank you, we say so much thank you. Um, never keep up. Uh, never stop, sorry, my cat is jumping on my legs, uh, never stop praying, never stop interceding, and never stop building and rebuilding the temple. And um, what do we want to do today? We are going to do a funeral, and we work, and we prepare, and we understand that whatever happens, God is always in control. So, um, I was thinking of the book of Haggai. I don't know how to say it in English. Haggai? <laughs> Haggai? Um, yeah. And Jehovah's chastening, of chastening due to the interrupted work. Verse 3. Uh, chapter 1, then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses? And this house lies a waste. Um, we say we stand up and we work and we do what we need to do, but we need to build the house of the Lord. Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Consider your ways. Verse 7, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Um, go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, saith the Lord. Um, it's kind of a difficult one as well because we work on difficult topics and it is about finding your place, finding your place in the body of Christ because you are part of the body of Christ as a reborn Christian. Again, like I said yesterday, we need to understand what it is what it what does it mean to be reborn? Reborn also means being rebuilt within. Um, now verse two to six analysis. Um, the prophet highlights the indifference of the people and chiding the returned exiles and their fellow countrymen for putting their own interest ahead of the Lord and the temple. Um, verse 8 to 9, like I always say, go read. Um, verse 8 to 9, so the cause of facing, we can see that back in verse 4, it is a time for you. God's house is in ruins. And that's why we say international prayer group, everyone who prays, everyone who works, understand what's going in the background. and But be sure that if you pray and if you say something, of course we listen. We speak, we understand, we feel, but be careful what you speak. Because if you speak something which is not led by the Spirit, you're going to ruin and you are going to interrupt the work of God. Verse 9 to 11, chapter 1, um, says, As though to reinforce God's point, that he promised glory. There is also a form of indolence, self-centeredness. And, well, Yahweh, Yahweh, Jehovah, um, God, reiterates that the people have sought much for themselves, but with meager results. And as long as the temple remains unfinished, the people can continue to expect poverty and lack of fulfillment. You know, the, the way of um, prophets, not always that easy. We speak, 
we say, we dance, we make music. Um, yeah, I'm going to start again, but we see things. And other word for a prophet is a seer. They see and they listen. And they listen to the word of God. They listen to what is going on. And then they speak. And they speak the word of God. That is prophesying. But you can only do that if you are understand the word of God. And if you are led by the spirit. Haggai chapter 1 Bible study intercession groups and thank you so much for all of you I really appreciate and let's move uh, this is the day the Lord has made amen